Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. We're seeing a little bit of some fog around the area this morning. This is our Lawrence camera. The actual uh, campus of KU doesn't look too bad It's because it's higher up on the hill. But of course, down in the low lying spots, that's where we're seeing our more dense fog here this morning. So central Topeka looks good as well, but closer towards the river. Of course, you're going to see a little bit more fog. 52 degrees currently, though, in the capital city. Dew points are pretty high at 51. When those two temperatures are our air temperature and our dew points meet, that's when we're likely to see that fog developing. Winds are Overhead, our skies are clear, and most of our winds at the highest are like five miles an hour this morning, but we're still seeing them mostly out of the north and northwest. Eventually, they're going to shift a little bit around towards the east today around five or so miles an hour through this afternoon. So really pleasant conditions today, especially after we clear this fog out. We'll have that light breeze, sunshine overhead, and eventually our winds become calm again heading into the night. We may have a little bit more patchy fog again tomorrow morning because of that too. But temperatures to start with, we've got low to mid 50s, down to 45 though in Marysville right now. That's sweater weather here this morning. 50 degrees in Manhattan, same goes for Clay Center and Hiawatha. We're at 56 though in Emporia and Burlington. Now, Later on today, we'll all rebound really nicely into the middle to upper 70s, maybe trying to get close to 80 degrees in some cases, but I think we should stay out of the 80s today. There may be a couple spots tomorrow that get closer to 80, though. Temperatures for tonight dropping back to near 50 again, maybe some upper 50 or some upper 40s in some cases. And then throughout the daytime Wednesday, like I was mentioning, a few extra places getting a little bit closer to that 80 degree mark. Overall, though, very pleasant for this time of the year. Pretty close to average. That average high sits at 82. Satellite and radar, we've got clear skies right now. We've been clearing those clouds out through the night. The showers went with it. And now most of the rain well off to our east as that system continues to move through the Great Lakes region and eventually off towards the east coast. That whole system is actually what's going to help to push Hurricane Lee and keep it out into the Atlantic compared to making its way onto land here uh, in the lower 48. So not expecting landfall with that one, but we are expecting some quiet weather here in northeast Kansas for a couple days until our next system makes its way on shore. That's going to be happening sometime for the end of the week. So future track starts at 7 a.m. We'll clear that fog out here through this morning, ending up with mostly sunny skies today. Clear skies tonight, more sunshine on the way for tomorrow, and then we'll have kind of a repeat performance coming our way for Thursday. Fast forwarding a little bit, though, this is Friday morning at 5 a.m. We may see a few showers trying to come in by Friday afternoon, continuing into Friday evening before clearing out very early on Saturday morning. So that'll be our next chance for rain here across the area. Still leaving us with a really great weekend. We should clear that out before Saturday morning, eventually seeing our clouds clearing out as well. Temperatures staying below average in those middle to upper 70s even as we start off the weekend. But we do start to warm things up a little bit more heading into the first part of next week as our southerly winds return. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.